Hey, my name is Taylor, I do music and audio for a living, and today we're talking about GarageBand and how to import your GarageBand sessions into Logic for further production and recording. So stick around, we're gonna have some fun today. It's gonna be a screen grab kind of recording day, but it's seriously magic. I just learned about this trick this week. I always heard that you could import GarageBand uh, sessions into Logic, but I didn't actually do it until this week, and so it was so cool and it really helped me out and I think it's gonna help you out, especially if we wanna collaborate. So, here we go. You open up GarageBand and you wanna make that cool hip hop track. You have a piano and you have a tempo and you decide to make it slow because we're making hip hop. We'll do 88. All right, now we gotta record that sweet new hit song to it. All right, so we have that recorded. It's eight bars long, like a good loop should be. We'll open it up, we'll quantize it. Oh, it needs some drums. So we'll make a drum track, and we know we wanna make some hip hop. Let's make it some trap. Let's check this out. Cool, oh wait, we need we need a good bass. But, so we'll go back up to new track again. Let's try deep sub bass. Oh yeah, this sounds like gold. That's, uh, that's pretty close, I think. So. Oh yeah. All right, from there, I think we're ready to bring it into Logic and do some serious work. So. What I'll do is I'll file, save, we'll name this Mary Had a Little Lamb. So we'll save it in a GarageBand folder. Cool. So then we'll close GarageBand. Then we'll open up Logic. You go new project. And then what you want to do is hit open existing project right here. And you go to your GarageBand folder, which is usually in your music folder. Hit GarageBand and there we have Mary Had a Little Lamb. We open it up and it works directly into Logic. So it'll create a new Logic X file or X files. Do, 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 do. Yep. Uh, and Voila, it's open up in Logic and then you can go, you have like your full mixer view, you can do all your processing and EQ. Yeah, it's really just that easy. Logic recognizes GarageBand files when you import. GarageBand doesn't work the same way, unfortunately. However, this is super handy if you spent a lot of time creating a really intricate demo in GarageBand uh, and the studio you're going to has Logic as an option. It's super slick, you can just import it in and start work or just export stems to go into Pro Tools. That's something I do a lot, so yeah. And that's how you import a song from GarageBand into Logic. Uh, let me know if this was helpful at all. I know you can find a written tutorial of this in like two seconds on Google. But I had more fun doing this. I hope you enjoyed it as well. And we will uh, we'll wrap it up now and we'll come back later and talk more advanced things for you. Thanks so much, talk soon. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and let me know what you wanna learn next. Thanks so much, talk soon.